Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey. And, and this, this is Dixie, Dixie and, and we're, we're Love Hub for Life. Life. We have now been on the road for 58 weeks in our self-built slide-in campers slash tiny home on wheels. That's true. This week has been a rough one, but we found some awesome free camping spots in Arkansas. And we also found a job that is allowing us to put a little money in the bank account and extend this crazy journey of ours. I hope you guys enjoy this week's episode. If you got a minute, make sure you leave us a comment and hit that subscribe button below and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. We left you last week in the Ozark National Forest where we had been hanging out for several days and had all of our stuff spread out. But it was time to pack up and see what else this forest has to offer. We hit the road and spent the day driving through some beautiful scenery. We were losing daylight quickly, so when we found this absolutely gorgeous spot right next to a lake, we set our jacks up for the night and called it home. We played in the giant leaves for a little bit and then caught ourselves a sunset. Those are hard to come by in these mountains. The next morning, we slept in and saw absolutely no reason to leave this beautiful place. So instead, we built a fire and made ourselves even more comfortable. Warm isn't exactly the right word to describe it, but it was warm enough to play outside for a bit. Not quite high enough temperatures for me to want to bathe outside, but I did take the opportunity to use our solar shower to get all of these rats nests out of my hair. We watched the sun go down from inside and called it an early night because we've got places to be in the morning. Part of how we maintain this crazy lifestyle of ours is by picking up odd jobs on the road. And Shane had found one for both of us that we were pretty excited about. Off to Little Rock we go. So on the way to Little Rock this morning, I looked down and realized that my engagement ring was not on my finger. Um, we searched everywhere. We went back to our campsite and uh, searched everywhere that we could imagine uh, through pictures. The last time I can confirm it was on my finger was Saturday, but I can't imagine that I went almost 48 hours without noticing. Um, so it had to have been lost sometime in between then. We're gonna keep looking, but it's not at our last campsite. And uh, we have a job that we really need. So we're gonna go ahead and go on to Little Rock and pray that it shows up. I was obviously pretty heartbroken and Shane was too, but we knew that where we needed to be was Little Rock and it was time for us to head that way. We're both very grateful for Alex Williams Construction and them teaching us a new life skill. One of the best parts of this new gig is that it's only 30 minutes away from a water management area, which means unlike the last time that we stopped to work, you don't have a whole week of uh, morning views of a Dollar General parking lot to look forward to. In fact, our new temporary home is about as good as we could hope for. Come on, 
Kelsey, we gotta go. <laughs> While unfortunately there were no waterfront spots to be had, sunrise over Lake Pickthorn would be a morning treat for us for the duration of our stay. Back into civilization we go. This particular job for us is helping with a true life money pit situation. We're trying to get these people back in their home for Christmas. This elf's gonna need a bigger shelf. The muscles in both of our legs and backs were screaming, but the day was over and it was time to head back into the trees. We got out to our campsite and spent the night tearing the house apart, still looking for that diamond ring. Driving through these neighborhoods helps me remember that the people living inside of them have to work this hard every day. I'll take a few weeks of labor to enjoy an adventure. I actually really enjoy this type of work and it's nice to be around people again. But let's be honest, I don't like spending the daylight hours doing anything but exploring because you can't really see much at dark. We spent another night of unsuccessful ring searching and then went to bed early so that we could wake up the next day and do it all over again. How many of you can say that your spouse will do whatever it takes to continue an adventure? I know I certainly can. We can't let Shane do all the work. We got out of there with a little bit more daylight this time and our muscles were finally starting to get used to the type of work we were doing. So we decided to stop in and check out Lake Pickthorn for a while. Lake Pickthorn is situated in the middle of Holland Bottoms WMA, which is quite a bit different than most of the ones we stop at. It's right on the edge of city limits, so that means you can go into town as well as park out in the middle of the woods and do some fishing and hunting. It also features one hell of a sunset. We got to our camp spot in time to set up without the use of flashlights. Shane made some dinner while I played guitar, and then we snuggled up in front of our Christmas tree for the night. Friday morning, those skies were certainly not looking very promising for us, and Dixie wasn't very happy about being left inside all alone either. We're pretty proud of what we and our new friends accomplished this week, and we were also pretty happy to get off early for that rain. Covering almost a full month of travel in one week's work ain't too shabby. Guys, we are super grateful to Alex Williams Construction Company for hiring us both and giving us an opportunity to add some more funds to the bank account and continue this awesome uh, journey that we call life. That's right, we'll be back here next week doing a little more of the same. But first, we're headed back to the Ozark National Forest with the help of a metal detector lent to us by our new friend Chase in hopes that we find a golden ring hidden in the leaves. 
That's right, guys. We've been hearing stories all week of miraculous recoveries of engagement rings, and we are really hoping for a Christmas miracle so that we can come to you with our own story next week. If you haven't already, make sure you leave us a comment below, as well as hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up. Also, if you're looking for another way to support us and possibly get some better videos for you guys to watch, check out our Patreon page. That's right, guys. We want to take the time and tell you each that we appreciate each and every one of you for following us along. Peace out. We'll see you next week. Have a good one. Bye, y'all.